Welcome back to our YouTube channel, guys. My name's Ardil, and today's video is another behind the sound. However, it's the final behind the sound on the absolutely incredible project that we've been working on, the stunning Lamborghini Huracan behind me. Obviously, as you've seen on our channel, this system is a world's first. So what we've got is three autosynthesis amplifiers in the front boot area. Then we've got a fully active thesis front end plus two subs. But you would have seen from start to finish on our YouTube channel, the whole series that's dedicated to this car showing every single step from tuning down to the fabrication side of things plus even going through speakers that are actually in the car comparing them to what we've actually put in on the sound off uh, episode that we've done as well and remember guys if you haven't done it already hit that subscribe button below because we've got that massive 10k subscriber competition live on our channel we're giving away a brand new playstation 5 and an Audison prima 8.9 amplifier so you can upgrade the sound in your vehicle but today's video is all about about this absolutely stunning hurricane so we're going to be talking a little bit of a brief overview exactly how we got here but all the episodes do go through it a little bit more detail step by step in terms of what we've actually got in the front luggage space here we have filled all of the space here however the amplification rack that's gone in does need space to basically breathe because the amplifiers get incredibly hot the reason why they get incredibly hot and the size that they are is because they're what's called class a b amplification you've got different tiers of amplification from a down to d d amplification is basically normally something very small compact design which obviously does improve and obviously is an improvement above and beyond the factory system even the sensitive system on the car however we didn't want to settle with that this system is absolutely incredible it's not about being loud even though these amplifiers are big they do house a lot of power however it's not about being loud massively or massive output it's about detail the clarity how the system actually performs and there's loads of different steps to get to where we are today to actually go through and they're all in the behind the sound series but the three amplifiers are in actually a custom built bracket actually fabricated completely in-house that actually sits into the front tub area we've got two fans either side keeping everything nice and cool then physical cable runs actually go on little connectors so the whole system can actually be removed the three amplifiers can come out all together the power cables plus also the actual speaker cables are all on quick release connector plugs so everything can be disconnected and reconnected with ease if anyone needs to access behind that tub which is really really important that we're thinking about the servicing of the vehicle later on and down the line so that's all been thought about behind the scenes so quick release connectors go all the way through to the actual processor itself so the processor is a very important part of a system so what we're using as a product there is something called an Audison bit version Virtuoso. The Bit Virtuoso is the highest possible rated product that you can put in as a processor and honestly it is phenomenal. This is the same processor that I use in my car and this is the reason why you can have so much control over the system. You've got IR filters, FIR filters, phase cancellation, you've got RTA analyzing, you got loads and loads of stuff. There is a full tuning video live on our channel already, so make sure you go check that out, guys, if you are interested in more about the tuning and the setup of a system like this. However, the Virtuoso allows us to complete control of the system. So we take out basically the factory signals from the head unit itself. That goes into a processor. Processor then goes out to the amplification rack. What's very important is basically the factory system always any factory system whether it's got a factory amplifier whether it's the bno system whatever it might be any stock system is outputting incorrectly basically the output from the actual head unit is a bit like bad food so i use this analogy a little bit but you sending basically bad food out to your speakers creating distortion creating all sorts of issues and that's why you don't get a good sound what this actually achieves is signals come in and yes it is still bad food at that stage that goes into the processor processor allows us to de-equalize the system correct all of that corruption and actually output a really nice clean signal that then gets amplified over into the amplification rack on this occasion the class ab amplification from order synthesis is honestly incredible that then amplifies clean nice signal into your speaker configuration the speaker configuration that we've got if you've watched the series already i won't bore you too much with it but we've got taken away from the stock location of the tweeter and that's really important because the stock location on a hurricane evo basically fires directly into partly glass and partly into the actual a pillar which distorts the sound all over the car and you will never get a decent setup 
from stock, we've actually done a full sound off video, which is quite cool because that actually shows exactly what you get from stock on a Hurricane Evo over and compared to what we're actually put into the car. So that's live on our channel already. All these videos are in the description below. So after this one, make sure you go check them out. So we've moved the stock location over to a custom A pillar. However, from looking from the outside of the car right now, you can't really tell this car has got a system in it. The custom A pillars are covered in black Milano, housing a black Audison thesis tweeter directed to the interior of the vehicle. Then we use time correction and using that virtuoso to actually control sound in the vehicle, move it around and get an inch perfect sound. That's basically the tweeters dealing with the higher frequencies and honestly, they perform so, so well. Then what we've got again, in, this is in actually a stock location. Inside this door is actually a six and a half inch driver. And this is the Audison Thesis Sax, an incredible bit of kit mounted on a 3D custom, 3D printed ring that sits in the exact stock location. So no modification is done behind the scenes on this door. Plus obviously we've acoustically soundproofed the car. The whole roof's been apart. We've actually soundproofed the roof, the doors, the floor, the back part every element of this car that's possible to be soundproofed is soundproof building a far better acoustic environment for the new sound system to work in but also reducing all those rattles resonations that nobody wants as well as some of that road noise as well so that's all being done inside the door and then we've got the two subs however we didn't want to see the subs so that's why we've gone for two 18 inch hertz melee legend subs behind the seat so they're completely hidden away what you've actually got is them in custom boxes and then a beauty panel with a lamborghini embossed logo in between they look absolutely incredible when you fold the seats back you have more of a view of them you've got a mesh grill which protects them but overall a really really nice setup you've got loads of punchy bays directed directly behind you but you've also got directed higher frequencies which is very important because higher frequencies are directional that's why we always try to put them on axis which is exactly what we've done then as you go lower down in the frequency range, they become less and less directional. That's why you can have subs in front of you, behind you. It doesn't really matter too much. That's why we've got two behind the seats and they perform really, really well. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the whole series and you've watched all the way through as well. If you haven't done, make sure you go check it out. There's loads of videos live on our channel already going from start to finish on exactly how this system is put together behind the scenes. So thank you very much for watching. And remember guys, we've got that massive 10K subscriber competition live on our channel as well so thank you very much for watching we'll see you soon